Hey guitar enthusiast, Lauren Bateman here. We're gonna do a super cool song by the Gin Blossoms called Hey Jealousy. Let's get into the guitar lesson. This is a super fun song. I used to love playing this live with my band. It's definitely high energy and you can jump around a lot and I love doing that. But first let's talk about the chords that we're gonna use for this song. We have an A major chord, a D major chord, an E major chord, and an F sharp minor bar chord. If you don't know an F sharp minor bar chord, the easiest thing to do is take your A chord, play the bottom three strings. It won't sound the best, but it will work or you could just bar it with just your first finger, whichever way works for you, but that is an easy way to play the F sharp minor chord. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the different sections of the song. I'll tell you what strumming patterns you can use. And the first thing we're gonna start off is with our intro. So the chord progression for the intro is gonna be D, E, F sharp minor, E. D, E, F sharp minor, E. And this travels through into the verses. So it's the same pro chord progression for the intro as the verses. So let's talk about a few strumming patterns you might wanna use. The easiest strumming pattern I'm gonna give you right out of the bag is just a straight strumming pattern pattern one, two, three, and four, and down, 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 up, down, up. If I play it over that chord progression, this is what it's gonna sound like. start sounding like the song right and, and there's lots of other lead guitar parts in this we're really just going to focus on the rhythm guitar for this on my acoustic but sounds really cool right there's an interesting thing that happens in this hey jealousy song so i'm going to give you that same strumming pattern but we're going to take it up a notch because it's going to sound more like the song and it's a hopping rhythm now what is a hopping rhythm instead of always changing the chords on the down strum we're going to change them on the up strum so before i tell you the difference here i just want you to hear the difference because i think it's important to hear these things to understand so just listen i'm going to play it without the hop here it is without the hop now with the hop you guys heard that if you caught it you may want to go back and rewind it and listen to it a little bit slower but what I'm doing is instead of changing the chords on the downbeat of the one I'm actually changing them on the upbeat after the four so what do I mean so this first one will start on the downbeat because we've got to start the song one two three and four now this up strum is going to be the E chord and one two three sharp minor and one two three and four back to e and one two three and four so you hear that so it's one two three and four and 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 one two do you hear that that sound pretty cool and this song is a very very peppy song if you want to play along with me to a slower version once i get my play along version up i'll put the link up there and you guys can play along with me and see how it sounds so if you want to keep things simple i would just stick with that strumming pattern but if you want to know the way i used to play it when i would play this song live well that's the final strumming pattern i'm going to show you here for this verse section so this strumming pattern actually takes place over two measures so you're gonna play two different chords before you get through the entire strumming pattern. This is a little bit more intermediate type stuff. I go over strumming patterns like this in my expressive rhythm course. If you guys are looking to improve your rhythm playing, go check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, it's a really great course, I love it. So what we're gonna do here is the down, we're gonna stick with the down, 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 up, down, up, the one I already showed you, except once we change to our E chord, so the D chord to be one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna go to the E chord and it's gonna be up, 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 down, up. So we're gonna play four up strums in a row, which can be really awkward for people if you've never played a lot of up strums. So it's gonna be one, two, three, and four, and, 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 and four, and. And then we would go to our F sharp minor. One, two, three, and four, and then the again and 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 three and four and all right so let me play it slowly for you guys okay so you might 
might have heard the F sharp minor, I'm playing the down on the one. I'm not doing the hop rhythm for every chord change. Listen again, here's the D. One, two, three, four. Gives this song a really, really cool feel, and re I, I, this is the, how I would strum the song when I played it live. Um, it's a really cool strumming pattern, so give it a try. Now, one final thing before we jump into the chorus section of this song. This song has a lot of dynamics. So when I would play this with my band, I would play that rhythm I just showed you. We would do our intro. And then we would come to the verse and I would get really, I probably wouldn't even play the guitar at this point. My bass player in the band would take it, but the song comes way down dynamically. So I might switch to a little bit of palm muted eighth notes. And you hear how that brings the dynamics down or you could just do a single strum. Tell me, do you think it'd be all right if I could? Crash here tonight. So these are things you can do dynamically, and when you're playing with a band, you can do different stuff. But these first two parts of the verse are played very lightly. And you know it might not be that bad. That's when you can come back in with the strumming. And you know it might not be that bad. So this verse builds. So we don't want to start the verse here. We want to start the verse low. Just keep that in mind. Go listen to the song. There is a lot of dynamics here. And maybe I'll do a little bit of playthrough at the end for you guys. All right, so now we're at the chorus section. And you know, you really can do whatever you want rhythmically here. You could use the one I showed you. Another pattern that you might want to think about for this chorus is a down, down, up, up, down, up. Um, I don't think this chorus really hops as much, so tomorrow we can drive around this town. All right, and the chord progression um, is a little funky for this. It's going to be A, D, A, D, F sharp minor, E, D, D. Okay, that's the first half, and then it's D, E, F sharp minor, E, D, E, F sharp minor, E, when we get to the hey, jealousy part. So if you wanted to, I would just use the down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, one, two, and, and four, and one, two, and, and four, and. Or you can stick with the, if you're more of a beginner player, stick with the one, two, three, and four. Tomorrow we can drive around this town. Still works. Let the cops chase us around. Okay, it'll work either way. And if you go watch that play along, I'll play it in a simplified way, but then I will play it in the full blown way. So really remember this, this chorus just has a lot of energy. And when we get to the Hey Jealous, Hey Jealousy, we go back to that hop rhythm. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, just so you guys, I know I threw a lot of information at you. I'm gonna run through intro, verse, chorus, just so you guys can hear the different dynamics here of what's going on. And then we'll talk about what's happening on the guitar solo. Hey guys, hope you're enjoying this lesson so far. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. This way YouTube will let you know when I release more videos just like this one. All right, so I'm gonna play this as if I was playing with my band. I might not sing, because I'll get hit with copyright, um, but if you want me to sing, just go watch that play along, like I said. So we got one, two, one, two, three, four.
there you go. And you can hear, I probably, you know, when I sing, I do a lot of improvisation in my playing. So I may not have stuck to those strumming patterns, but I don't know if you could hear, hear on that course. I went to that down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. And then when I got back to Hey Jealousy, I seamlessly went back into that first strumming pattern I did at the intro. So that might be something you need to work on. Practicing going from one strumming pattern right into the next strumming pattern without thinking about it or making any hiccups. All right, so after we go through, you know, the first couple verses, the first couple courses, we have this guitar solo that comes in followed by another chorus, a very quiet, very quiet third verse, and then the chorus. So the guitar solo, I just wanna show you some different things you might wanna do dynamically. When I would play with my band, these were different things. And this is why this lesson's in the intermediate songs because we're doing a lot of intermediate skills here. I would maybe do some percussive strumming. So the strumming pattern I would start with would be that hopped rhythm that I showed you on the intro. And then I'm gonna do some things I might mute some of my strumming to have it sound a little bit more interesting because there's a solo, there's a lot of energy. Let me play through for you guys first so that you can hear what I'm talking about and then we'll discuss it. One, two, one, two, three, four. So this is that regular strumming. Now I'm gonna change it this next time. Okay, so what did I do? You probably heard on that third progression through, I did some muting and I actually changed the strumming pattern entirely too. I went back to that one, two, three, and four and. And what I did was I muted my chords after I played them. So I kind of, I kind of released the pressure on this hand. Just on the first two, I'm really accenting that one, two. One, two. I kind of went back to the normal strumming pattern, uh, kind of towards the end of that E chord on the second, uh, that third chord progression through. So I did two times through the chord progression, regular strumming pattern, and then I did this kind of cool dynamic. So you can hear, I'm changing up, I'm trying to keep the listeners interested in what I'm doing instead of just playing the same strumming pattern all the time. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Make sure to give me a like. I really, really do appreciate it. YouTube is gonna throw a couple more videos up over there. Go check those out. I hope you guys have fun with this one because it really is a super fun song.